Hello everyone, here is another Cyrax video. Um, I found, I know this one's new, but it was interesting and I had something to say about it, so I thought even though it's new I would upload it. So here we go. What's up, Facebook? Um... I know it's been a while since I posted a video. You know... You know, any of my Facebook profiles. And for those of you wondering, yes, this is my new... This is my new profile. My new permanent one. But... These past few weeks have been very hard for me. And I'm going to explain why. You see this man in this picture right here. This man right here. This man was one of my best friends. <clears throat> and me and this man right here. We met about three years ago. For those of you that don't know, I am a victim of cyberbullying. What does that have to do with this man's death? You know, he makes everything about him. Also, has anyone noticed that he has like a billion friends, or at least a couple hundred thousand, and all of them end up either hospitalized, dying, or dead? He's the most unfortunate goblin on the planet and internet extortion and internet terrorism extortion involves money you don't have any it, it, he doesn't know and terrorism like internet terrorism would be like somebody sending you a virus and blowing up your comp computer in a sense where you can't use it anymore like it's rendered useless so Cyrex was the only person I know who sent a link to somebody, to Marty, I believe it was, and to track him. That's internet terrorism. That's a part of internet terrorism. So the only person who's committed terrorism is Cyrex. Which I'll save that for another video. But this man saw what I was going through and reached out. He reached out to, to me through a mutual friend. And just instantly me and Brendan fucking clicked. Like, he became extremely close to me. We became really close really fast, almost instantaneously. And he knew what I had been through, because he had seen it. He saw what I was going through. And this man, he stood up for me. You notice we've never heard about a Brendan before? But yet he stuck up for Cyrex. You would think Cyrex would have mentioned him by now. He's mentioned... Who, who was that other one? The, the furry person. He mentioned Jake. He mentioned Nylith. That was the, the furry guy. Nylith, he, me he has no problem mentioning names. But he doesn't mention him until now. We've never heard about a Brendan. Yet he defended him and he knew he was being, quote, bullied, which he's not, and etc. Hmm. How many people want to bet that this guy doesn't even know who Cyrex is? And Cyrex just went through Facebook or somewhere, found out somebody had died, and is pulling up this guy's picture. And this guy nor his family even know Cyrex. Because Cyrex does that a lot. Like, Chester Benningfield. Um, any, the Green Lantern. Well, the Green, who is he? The Green Power Rangers. Sorry, I don't watch boys' shows. But, you know, things like that. 
They don't know who this guy is. They don't know who Cyrax is. And he just goes in and, and stalks people and then pulls up their pictures and mourns their death, even though he doesn't know them. Honestly, I hope his family, whoever this person is, s takes this video down and chants his channel too, because it's disgusting what he does. He leeches off the deaths of people who he does not know. I, b I bet you, nine times out of ten, Cyrex doesn't even know who this is. And, and this poor unfortunate guy doesn't even know who Cyrex is, and he can't even speak for himself because he's deceased. So, so that's the trick, too. Get someone who's deceased, who can't explain for themselves, and so everybody just has to take it Cyrax word at face value. I, I choose not to believe this guy knows who Cyrax is. Several times he has stood up for me. When? How? Against several people. He has... What, who? Panel. Name the names. Name the names of the people who he stood up against. Glory Hall, Kate, Marty, me, who, who, Bishop, name the names. I want to hear the names. N-word boy, name the names of the people he stood up against. I want to hear the names. He has been in the comments, you know, speaking his mind. And he's never been mentioned before. Well, I'm sorry. It pisses me off. He sh Cyrix should not have the right or the ability to keep bringing up deceased people and using some family's grief for his benefit. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. I I do not believe this poor man, this poor deceased man knows who Cyrix is and vice versa. He probably went to like the obituary somewhere or found out Sally was saying something, or somebody said somebody died in one of his uh, Reddit circles that he stalks, and he just pulled up this random picture. It's disgusting. And basically telling them that they're pieces of shit. When? I don't know what they do to me. Who are they? Well, a couple weeks ago, I ended up getting some. No, I mean, just the worst news I could ever get in my life. This is the thing. If my one of my family members died of an overdose, I would not be running to some person on the internet and telling them that. That's how I knew this as a bunch of bullshit. Who does that? And I'm not saying people on the internet can't do that or can't talk to people but i mean when it first happened the first happened like it 12 hours ago or today or whenever you're not running to the internet telling some goblin that you don't even really know oh by the way my son or my friend died of a drug overdose nobody's doing that sorry i Trying to hold together because I know it might not sound like it, but I'm trying really hard not to get choked up. No, you don't sound like you're about to cry. You can't mimic human emotions well enough. The only emotion you can do is rage. That's about it. I'm trying really hard not to cry. Oh, shut up. But a couple weeks ago, I found out. That this man right here, one of my best friends who I considered a little brother. He, he almost looks older than you, or at least the same age. So, m maybe he's in his 20s, whatever. How many little brothers does this dude have? And it sounds creepy when everybody's a little brother or a little sister. It's weird. Why can, why can you not have anybody your own age? That you speak to. Like I am 29. I do not sit around 20 year olds. And 18 year olds. It's weird. I have nothing in common with them. Even if they're legal age. It's still weird. Passed away. 
his cause of death was somebody lacing his weed with fentanyl. And let me tell you, when I got that call from his dad that he passed away. Uh, no, absolutely not. No father worth the paper he's printed on is going to sit and call some gobbler on the internet talking about his son's death. What father does that? In Cyrex's world, that works. Because he's a stalker. He, he's, nobody can convince me that this guy doesn't stalk people. So he believes everybody else's business is his. And he just makes up stories and lies. And, and attaches himself to people. I don't believe anybody's father called the goblin about anything. Other than a restraining order. Or maybe threats of violence. Anything other than that? No. I was a mess. I was a total fucking wreck. Like, I didn't know... I didn't know how to react. Like, I couldn't... I couldn't believe that this man who had helped me out so much... And had done so much for me... What? Nobody's calling somebody out from the, that they only know from the internet. Because that's what he said. That Br he knew Brendan. I don't even want to say his name because it was, it, this guy over the internet. That's the only place he knew him from. Nobody's father who doesn't even know you is going to call someone that there is only known to their son over the internet. He, this is a delusion of grandeur. That he, Cyrex believes he's that important. That people are calling him over things that no one would ever call him over. He, he, it's gross. It's sick. And how he, he's using... And I don't believe this guy would have sent his picture to this fucking... Anyway. And passed away. No, let me tell you. In the short time that I've known Brendan, he's taught me just so much. Shouldn't you be teaching him since you're the older person? Um, you know, the stuff that we bonded over, which was playing guitar and our, our love for the same types of music. If he taught you guitar, I don't believe that. You refuse to take any help. Even to learn how to tune your guitar. I don't believe that at all. And you may have had the same taste in music. I bet every penny that I don't have that he is a much better artist than you. This man taught me. I just, I can't even go over the whole list of things that this man has taught me. Because it's all lies. Like, there's just so much. Like... He taught me to never give up and to always be kind to others, even if they laugh in your face and they hate you. And that's that's something that I'm still, you know, struggling with. But he also taught me to not take shit from anyone. And that's like a contradicting statement. Don't take mess from people, but turn the other cheek. <laughs> anyway. And if somebody, you know, says something that's not okay, you step up and you say something. He taught me to always do what's right. Well, you failed at that. Even if no one will stand up and say something to be, to make a difference, you stand up, and you be that difference. There have been many times where I had thought about taking my own life several times. There were two times that I had actually attempted it. You got on a panel willingly with other people. And when you didn't get your way, you stuck a stylus to your neck. That's it. <clears throat> Twice. 
once with uh the lady who looks like um Dave Mustaine and the other w then Smackerel and Marty, which she willingly went up there both times. I mean, I'm sorry, like, as a person who's been in the dark place before, I don't understand the concept of putting yourself in the lion's den over and over and over again and then claiming you are a victim. And both times, I have failed. But so many other times that I really thought about it, I openly like, called on the phone and like, I'm not doing okay. I'm on the edge. And he, he told me, he's like, dude, don't do it. Because not only are you taking life out of yourself, but you're taking a life and a light away from other people. I don't believe this guy ever. Now, do I believe this guy, whoever he is, whatever his real name is, may have left like a nice comment or two or something along those lines? Possibly. But I don't believe anybody's father is calling Cyrex to announce the death of their child. Don't believe it at all. Don't believe any any interaction between the goblin and this guy was beyond like a couple nice comments. Don't. Just just don't believe it. Like he really made me feel like I can't even explain it. Like, he made me understand. In this whole thing of the computer, pulling up the picture, it looks like it's in the editing thing. So if he just pulled up the picture, to me it would look different than that, but I could be wrong. And that taking my life isn't the way to go. Even though he understood what I what I was going through, he taught me just so much and was there for me in just so many ways. I, mean, I can honestly say that Brendan was one of the kindest. And one of the most humblest people I've ever met in my entire life. So Security Jake isn't kind and humble? So Nyleth wasn't kind and humble? Nobody else is? See, it, this is a, a sad, pathetic human being. Well, take that back. Goblin. Who, you, who pulled up a random picture of someone... The most, I believe, left, like, two nice comments. So, he found this guy who was commenting, pulled up a picture, and, or, if I want to be more not nice, found a random guy's picture on the internet, pulled it up, and this is who we're having the memorial service to, or someone who could possibly still be living, and Cyrax is his created this false story around a picture he found off the internet. Like, every time I would stay, he would stick up for me, I would say thank you. And he would say the same thing that I always say to everybody. Oh, he would always tell oh so he, he mimics his words. So it can't just be that Cyrax invented this, this storyline for this poor unfortunate person, whether they're living, dying, or dead. I, don't, I can't see a man who is not romantically interested in another man sending him his picture. I just That's the part I can't get over to. Why would this guy send... His picture, it's like he, he, Cyrix is pulling up a, 
thumbnail at best and has created this story because no father is doing that. None. You know, no thanks neither because I know that you would do the same for me. And it was pretty ironic because I say that to everyone. <laughs> Whenever, you know, somebody's getting attacked and, I, and I'll step up and I'll stick up for them. When people get attacked, especially in your name, you tell them to get over it. And say, you tell them they shouldn't care what people say. And they say, thank you. I always tell them, look, there's no thanks needed. You know, I know damn well that you guys would do the same thing for me if I was in that position. So, I'll admit, it was... It was crazy hearing those words from out of his mouth. Because this is lies. But I can honestly say that to whoever laced Brendan's weed with fentanyl. As if that person is listening. Just, I don't believe any of this occurred. I believe two things. Either this guy sent like two positive comments and Cyrix pulled up his thumbnail and is creating this lie to make him look sympathetic. Or, number two, Cyrex went to the internet, found a random photo, and is creating this storyline and everything else in between. I hope you know that not only am I going to be looking for you, his dad, his whole family, we're all going to be looking for you and hunting you. How do you look for someone from an attic? You don't even leave your house. This is how I know it's this is this is to make him look good by saying this. He's using a possible death if that's even real. And I don't say that to be disrespectful to this guy. But <clears throat> this is all to make Cyrex look like a good quote person. Down and make sure you pay for what you've done to Brendan. Because I promise you that you will see jail time. I promise you that you will see jail time. Just like the trolls, you know, he Cyrex, the legal expert. I can honestly say that these last few weeks have been some of the hardest weeks of my life. Oh, shut up. Because I've had to get reused to, you know, him not being around anymore, and it's been hard. On the internet? It's been one of the hardest deaths I've had to deal with. Because like I said, me and Brendan, we grew super close just really quickly. Of course. That's the only way this lie will make sense. I can honestly say, there's not a day that doesn't go by where I don't wish I could have, you know, spent one more day with him. One more hour. One more minute. With like, a person you don't know. I would love to be able to spend time with him again. Even if just for a day. To say thank you for everything that... It, He's done for me. And not only everything that he's done for me, but everything that Brendan has done to help people in general in my situation. So, Brendan, I want you to know this, man. Thank you for everything. And I want you to know, Brendan, that you are loved. You are missed more than you know. Even if, like, your friend died, wouldn't you just protect their privacy and their fi their family's privacy and just mourn in secret? Like, in private? And I'm not saying, like, a person has no right to go on the internet and say, like, 
their friend died. I'm not saying that. I'm not policing that. I'm just saying this is such a performance. Just like it, it to draw attention to something that supposedly just happened is very fresh. One would think you could wait till the dude is cold to to to, to put on a, a play act, but not the goblin. You truly were a good soul. You were a godsend. You came to me at my lowest. And I don't understand this talking about him as if, like, not even as a brother, like, a, a, a boyfriend. Like, this is how you talk about your significant other who's passed away. And I'm not even being, trying to be funny. It just, it's over dramatic. You came to me when I was at the lowest point in my life. And you picked me up and you showed me that life is still worth living. And that my story is not over and that I am going to... So, this guy met you, wasn't it a couple of years ago with Smackle Cat and all that? A couple of years ago, when that whole thing transpired. And he has continued to talk about the same issue over and over and over again until, what, the third Okay. Beat this thing one way or another. So, Brendan, thank you for always being there for me. Thank you for being a good friend, a good mentor, but more importantly. Who? Does no one find it creepy that a older adult is going to like a younger person and calling that person their mentor? And I'm not saying that a, a younger person is like a, a, an idiot or has nothing to say that's important. I'm not saying that. I'm not on a boomerific trip, but I'm just saying it's weird. Shouldn't it be a mutual exchange at that? Yeah. Thank you for being an amazing little brother to me, man. I know that we weren't family by blood or by marriage, but... Huh? You were all by marriage? So you... I, I, it just sounds per, like sexual... just sexual and i'll leave it at that and again we don't even know if this this guy probably left two comments this you cannot convince me that cyrex is not a stalker and that he doesn't stalk people and get like a sexual thrill out of doing it and then he may just believes that these people are like in love with him like those erotomaniac stalkers always a little brother to me and you will always be my little brother Thank you, Brenda. Thank you for everything. Love you, bud. This is so weird. Rest easy, my friend. Just found out from Inward Boys video. I should have read the comments, but whatever. Um, these people were real people. Cyrex knew who they were. The dad and Brendan, quote unquote, they were both trolling Cyrax. So I was right that this narrative was made up. Both Cy uh, excuse me, Brendan and his father thought Cyrax was a piece of garbage, which he is. And they were never friends. So Cyrax is is completely making this up. Um except for the death. He's simply using this person's misfortune to make himself look like a good person. So, just wanted to clarify that.